Hello and welcome back to my tea party. It is your girl, Southern Tea Time. And I'm in a good mood because it is Happy DG Saturday. Okay, so make sure you grab your favorite beverage so we can talk about what's going on for this month. So this month is really exciting for me. I have a lot of things going on and I am hosting a planner event at the end of this month. So I need to go ahead and get organized and plan for my December monthly in my Hepanichi. I carry this everywhere I go. And so I need to set up. I am gonna be setting up my cover page, my monthly, and I'm gonna do about two weeks in this video. I didn't want it to be a long video, but I need to play catch up because I do have some things coming up and some things are already done that I need to document. So that's what we're gonna be doing for this week. So starting with my cover page, I thought I wanted to create a page that's gonna allow me to put some highlights into this month. And I wanted to choose this color story sticker book because I have not touched this sticker book at all. So that's one of my things that I'm challenging myself is to use the stickers out of this sticker book. So you may see this sticker book again and maybe another spread. I don't know, maybe in another, another Happenichi video, but I wanted to create a cover page so it can document or I can document some of my highlights from this month from my planning event. So that's what I'm going to be doing. If you are new here, hello and welcome. And I hope you um, enjoy this video and consider subscribing. So enjoy yourselves as I get prepped for this beautiful Happy Nichi Saturday and for the month of December. Thank you. 
All right, so now I'm going to be creating my December monthly page and I'm also going to be pulling out this mini happy planner and I'm going to be taking out that December section out of there. Um, it is for 2020 and I'm not using that mini for this year. So I went ahead and cut it up to fit inside of my happy Nichi pages so that it can, um, that way I don't have to actually create a page, draw it and number it. It's already the correct date and it's easier for me to kind of just cut into size and place down on my planner. And I love to do that. And you can do that also with an expired one and just redate it if you feel like it. But since I wasn't using my mini for this year and for the month of December, I thought it'd be good to utilize that monthly page.
All right, so next up, I'm gonna be creating my first week of December, which is December the 2nd through the 8th, which is this past week. And I'm gonna be using my Teresa Collins washi and a few stickers out of there because I absolutely love her collection and love her collaboration with the Happy Planner. So I thought I'll go ahead and still incorporate that um, into this week as well. So I'm gonna be using these um, things to do stickers and I thought it was really neat and I really feel like I want a lot of these stickers now because I keep up with my top three things that I need to do each day um, in my Happenichi because it's my everyday carry. And so I thought it would be really cool to go ahead and use these things to do stickers and just write down some of the items that I need to get done and it has like little check boxes where I can check it off. So that's why I went ahead and um, try to tie in some of these stickers in this, but I really want some more of these stickers now because these are like the bomb.
So now I'm moving on to December the 9th through the 15th. And I absolutely love these multicolored half sheets pages. They're super cute to use. And I was thinking about using these um, Cue the Confetti washi that came out of the, I believe it was the Happy Hostess um, washi tape collection. And it had all the colors and it has like those nice little speckles or like shimmer of confetti inside of those washi. So I thought that was really cute. So I wanted to tie that washi in with this spread to give it a little bit more color. And then I'm going to have some fun with it and I'm going to use some fun florals. Yes, I'm loving my fun floral sticker book, but I'm still hoarding them a little bit, but I'm going to use it in this spread. And I love how I'm able to use this multicolored page and just add a few um, florals to this page and some date dots and that's it and then all you have is your weekly spread and it's super easy and fun to do and like I said I'm running a little behind so I need to just kind of play catch up so I want to have a cute simple spread to go ahead and um, write all my dates in and I do have some appointments that are coming up Madison has some school activities that are coming up this week so I need to make sure I document those as I'm out and about doing some errands for my event so that's what I need to go ahead and prep for so Let's go ahead and finish setting up for this week of December the 9th through the 15th. All right, so your girl put in some work, okay? For this happy that you said it, your girl put in some work to get all this done. So I love each page. I love the positive vibes and the positive quotes that I have running throughout each um, page of this week. And in my monthly, I absolutely love it. It says, don't be um, like the rest of them, darling, by Coco Chanel. And then, you know, I had to tie in, be you, not them, Teresa Collins quote, just kind of motivating me into, um, just let me know to just enjoy planning and do it the way that I want and create what I feel. And this is what I feel. All this love. Do y'all see all that? All that love poured into that spread. But I love how everything turned out. Um, I need to go back in, of course, and document some things that I've done already for this week and then move on to this upcoming week. Because like I said, Madison have some things going on this week. And I also have some things going on this week that I need to document. And I love this left side right here because I'm able to like either put like things I need to do for the upcoming week, which is next week. And some other things that I have like highlights for this week I want to write in there that is not able to fit onto the right side of my page. 
And then these are just notating the appointments that Madison has for this upcoming week. And I'm just loving every, I'm just loving every page. So as I was cutting out my mini monthly to create this page, I also wanted, I also cut out this currently page here that says, um, currently reading, loving, watching all that stuff. And I was trying to figure out where I could put that. Cause I think that'd be really cool to add to this page. And I thought about maybe adding it to my cover page. So I think I'm gonna put it in my cover page. Cause that'll be something that I can actually put in for the month. So I might start doing that for each month. So now I'm just going to go ahead and just put my double sided tape on the back of that page and I'm going to include it. So that's one thing that I love about using um, expired planner pages that you're no longer using, or even if it's a currently page, um, I just love it, how you can fit those in. And then it, I feel like it goes with that color scheme because like that nude light color and it goes in with that palm tree and those little blush pinks. And a little hues of the cream so i'm loving it i'm loving everything about this page i enjoy creating this page and i love this it says less hustle more life yes indeed oh my goodness i'm loving all of this so i hope you also enjoyed it this beautiful happy to saturday and i hope that you enjoy watching me create these pages um for myself and also hoping that this video gives you some inspiration and some idea of either starting your own Happenichi or creating a page in your Happenichi. So please make sure to stay tuned for my next video that will be available on Tuesday. You don't want to miss it. So until then, please make sure you go ahead and check out these videos that are here um, at my tea party. If you haven't done so already, go ahead and click that subscribe button so that you can subscribe, subscribe to my channel. So that you can become a part of my tea party squad and sip on some of this tea. So if you are new here and this is your very first time, hello and a happy Nietzsche Saturday to you. Hope you enjoy it and feel free to enjoy the rest of these videos here at my tea party. Have a good and a happy Nietzsche Saturday, guys.